Hello everybody, welcome to another unboxing and review. This time we are doing Lego Sonic. This is Amy's Animal Rescue Island. If you see my shirts, you know I've had two of these Lego sets already. That being the uh, really big one and the uh, Tornado one, Tails Workshop. I don't forget, I forget what the other one's called, but hey. So here's the box. We've got three things, figures in here, I guess. We've got our Tails, our Amy, and our Brick. Bill crab meat, as well as some animal friends. Here is the back of the box. We got this little bridge action, some drink sharing, and another uh little thing of this little island. It's another uh Green Hill Zone inspired set. Nothing on the side there, and there is just tails and Amy on the side of that side. We're gonna poke this. That's the way it's supposed to be open. And it opens up just like that. Yeah, okay. So let me. There we go. And let's shape our. Alright, it looks like we've got four bags here. One big old stand. So I'm going to be building this in pieces. We got a nice big instruction manual. So uh, let's get to constructing this. Alright, we are done building this thing, and look at that, that's a, quite a nice build. It's quite a cozy build. Like I said, it's not really based off anything in Sonic, other than the Green Hill Zone aesthetic. But it is a nice little thing, and it kind of reminds me of the Chow Garden. I wish there was a little Chow, but we got little animal buddies instead. So there's actually a lot of different play features here, so I'll go over them. So, as you probably know, there's a Tails Amy with a different hammer than the one in the other set. This one is not from any game that I'm aware of, because I don't remember this type of hammer, but it is unique, at least. It makes this one stand out more, as well as this brick belt crab meat. And, of course, there is a uh, another animal buddy. So, yeah, we got a Pocky. This one was in another set. I know the names, and, of course, if you're a weird person like me, you know them. These are the probably the most, most unique thing about these sets is that you get these nice little figures this is a picky and we got a pink flicky i don't know if this one actually has a name or not that's unique that's the one that i think is not in our set so i'll go over through some of the features first off tails is this little hoverboard i guess we're sailing in the box it looks like he's flying so yeah little tails thing it's not the most unique thing in the world but hey it gives him a little thing to do so to amy looks exactly the same as the other one except she doesn't do a hammer and this is such places. We got this little mountain here, which kind of reminds me of some reason the Game Gear games. I don't know what this location, like Hell Zone? Not, not, what's it called? 
the, uh, I can't remember the name. The second zone of Game Gear, so this, this reminds me of the first Sonic game. And this is a play feature where if you hit this, it reveals a Chaos Emerald there. There's actually missing, I'm actually missing a piece here. There's supposed to be like a little piece here. But because the set did not have them, I don't know why, I checked all over the place and it wasn't there. So I don't know why that is. Um, as the box really states, this bridge is actually detachable. But it's actually pretty unique. Probably why this reminds me. Bridge zone is the name of that zone. Yeah, but little Lily is a bridge. And if you, there's a thing you pull back here. And as you can see, the bridge pulls back. This thing, guys, is a little too big. We'll move to the side, as well as the little animal. Much like all the other uh, robots, you can put a little animal in there and they can get freed easily. I'm not the biggest fan of this, this concept. It was a neat idea, but like I said, they're just loose there and it just makes this weird empty shell there. The only one that works kind of okay is this Buzz Bomber. Cool thing about this bridge is that with this little lever back here, you can easily put it up and down, which is pretty cool. So down here we got a nice little waterfall, which we got the Sonic Flower. This is a kind of carousel design, so that's neat, I guess. It's kind of a little odd. It's not the best. It's probably the weakest element. We got this little sandcastle and bucket. This is a really nice bucket. And we got this little cool water slide, which I guess you can slide your animal buddy down there. They don't go all the way down, but it's just a nice little pool. Let's see if uh, one of the minifigures works better on the slide. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really work. But it's a little nice, neat thing. We got this tree of banana. And of course, over here, we got this little... Uh, Stand. It's just this is apparently uh, Amy's. We'll just like she got she's around the place, and there's some nice little food items here. Of course, not as cool as the other set that they had a chili dog. Well, we got a little bit of food there. Nice little pink thing. Now, this set has a uh, another thing. Is that there is a back part to it, and this is a little home here, I guess, for the little critters, so they can sleep in here. They're little beds and such. There's three and. I don't know why this is even here. It's like, is this supposed to mean something? But this is just how it's built. So yeah, that back side, which you can reveal on the other side, which we'll get over here for this wall. You would just open that up and yeah, there you go, you can see it. And through the slide as well. Though it looks better, like just down like that. But that's neat, cool play features. Overall, this is a pretty good set. It wasn't too expensive compared to some of the other sets. And you get two figures. The only one that doesn't come with Sonic. But you like Amy and Tails. It's not a bad, bad one. For me, it's not the most useful one. Because I already had these two figure, mini figures. But I got a new one and a nice little backdrop for Sonic stuff. So if you like Crab Meat or Amy or Tails, it's a good set. And it's difficulty building was okay. Maybe it might be a little difficult for some people. Like I said, I missed pieces. But for the most part, this one's a lot easier than the other ones. To build so yeah it's also a recommend to ages seven and up just thought you let you know in case you're wondering if you wanted to buy it but that is my overall opinion i say it's a pretty good set not sonic-y enough in my opinion like it does remind me of the elements but i'm not sure how intentional that, that was and like i said you're not getting that many figure sets the tails bill is okay the crab meat is good but in fact his legs kind of suck but you get a little couple of animal bodies not as much as the other sets the other one which i thought there'd be more they don't list them in the actual thing. And Amy's different name design is kind of weird, if anything. But if you want a, a cheaper way and a not, not bad size build for those two minifigures, I do recommend it. It's not bad, but there's better cycling sets you can get. Thank you for watching.